आई होप मोस्ट ऑफ यू मस्ट हैव हर्ड अबाउट दिस आइकिया एयर क्वालिटी सेंसर दे कॉल इट विंड रिक्टनिंग आई ऑर्डर्ड टू ऑफ दैम एंड रिसीव दैम अराउंड फोर वीक्स अगो दीज सेंसर्स डोंट सपोर्ट एनी एक्सटर्नल कनेक्टिविटी एंड आर ट्रूली डम सेंसर्स दैट कैन जस्ट इंडिकेट द एयर क्वालिटी लेवल विद थ्री डिफरेंट कलर्ड एल ई डीज ओनली देर इज नो बटन और सॉकेट ऑन दिस सेंसर एक्सेप्ट ए यू एस बी सी टाइप कनेक्टर फॉर पावरिंग द डिवाइस वेन वी टर्न ऑन द पावर इट प्लिंक ऑल एल ई डीज एंड देन टर्न ऑन ए सिंगल कलर्ड एल ई डी एज पर द सराउंडिंग एयर क्वालिटी आई डोंट नो अबाउट द एयर क्वालिटी ऑफ योर एरिया बट माई प्लेस हैज टेरिबल एयर ड्यूरिंग विंटर टाइम Fortunately we have a public weather station that reports outdoor air quality over the internet which mostly remain above 130 As per the instructions manual of this IKEA sensor air quality index above 80 is considered poor and it shows a red indication for it But as I just mentioned the AQI in my area always remain above 130 the psychia sensor always stays red so for those kind of areas where air quality always stays above the highest configured level of this sensor these sensors are just a waste as you are going to see nothing except the red light in them all the time in my city anything below 250 is the new normal and above 250 is considered as bad air so to reprogram indication lights as per my area's aqi level and to report the measured value to home assistant i planned to modify this sensor so let's do it together so what i want from this sensor i want the sensor to show green light if sensor reading is below 250 orange light between 251 and 400 and red light above 400 of course you will be able to customize these values according to the normal air quality range in your area then as the indication lights of the sensor are very bright they may interfere with your sleep during night so we want the lights to turn off when room lights are turned off and turn on again when room lights turn back on for that i am adding a light sensor apart from this i am also adding a temperature and humidity sensor to get the live values and lastly we will be able to get all these live values in home assistant as well as will also be able to control all three status leds separately from home assistant to accomplish all these tasks we are going to add a wemos d1 mini board inside this sensor you can use any other esp board that can fit inside the sensor's housing when you open this ikea sensor you will find a very few components inside it this is pm 2.5 air quality sensor from cubix It's a very basic kind of sensor to report the approximate values within plus minus 20 points here and there. This is enough to know the number of PM 2.5 particles in the surrounding air. On the other side of the sensor, there is a small fan to create an air flow for this sensor. This is the control PCB with an onboard tiny microcontroller which queries the air quality sensor. and accordingly drives these onboard leds the microcontroller also controls that small fan attached to the air quality sensor this is the circuit diagram of this pcb now as we want to control the leds with d1 mini board we need to disconnect their connections with the onboard microcontroller which can be done easily by removing and shifting resistors r3 r4 r5 and r9 The location of these resistors on the PCB is shown here. Here I have removed all the four resistors from the board. And here they have been shifted on the other sides of the pads. Like this. 
Now we need to make connections of this board to D1 mini board along with some other sensors and components as shown in this diagram. You can pause the video and take the screenshots for reference. If you think that removing and refixing the small resistors for LEDs is not your cup of tea, or if you don't want to control the LEDs from home assistant, you may leave the resistors as is. In that case, you don't need to connect pins D5, D6 and D7 to the IKEA board. Before making connections, let's flash the D1 Mini with customized test motor firmware that I have compiled especially for this project that includes most of the requirements pre-configured into it, which will make the configuration part easier for you. You can download the bin file from my github page whose link is provided in the description below. Click on the code button and select download zip. Select save file and click save. Go to the downloads folder and unzip it. Now open Tasmotizer, connect the D1 Mini to your computer and click open. Select the bin file, select the COM port and click on Tasmotize to flash the bin file to D1 Mini. Once the firmware flashing process completes, Connect the Tasmota access point with name Windrickning and some numbers and open Tasmota dashboard on 192.168.4.1. Select your Wi Fi network, enter password, and click Save. The ESP board will now connect to your router. Open its IP address assigned by your router. If you are able to see this page, you have successfully flashed your ESP board. Now click Configuration, Configure Module and in the module type, select Windrickening by VCC Ground on the top and hit Save. Upon restart, you will now see the Illuminance sensor along with three toggle buttons. Now if you are connecting a temperature and humidity sensor, you need to configure that by clicking configuration and configure module. Here I have reserved pins D1 and D2 for this sensor. If you are connecting a DHT11 or DHT12 sensor, configure a single pin D2 for it. If you are connecting BME280 or similar I2C sensor, Configure pin D1 as I2C SCL and D2 as I2C SDA. Currently I am using a DHT22 sensor, so I am selecting AM2301 on D2 and none on D1. Now hit save again and here now you will see AM2301 sensor readings too. Now disconnect the D1 mini board from the computer and let's now connect it to the sensor board. Follow this connection diagram to connect both the boards as well as the sensors. Here I have made all connections as shown in the diagram. Now it's time to fix all these inside the housing and close it. So now we have turned Windrickening into a modified multi-sensor. I have kept the LDR outside of this casing to detect ambient light. You may make a hole in the housing and fix it from inside also. Let's power on the sensor. As you have seen, on startup, the green and red LEDs flashed alternatively and then stopped on a single light to indicate the current air quality. Now if I turn off the room lights, the LDR, our light sensor, 
will detect this and the indication light will turn off automatically and when the lights turn back on the indication light will also turn on if you open its ip address in a browser you can see the live sensor data from all attached sensors these three toggle buttons are to control three onboard colored leds currently they are being controlled automatically by inbuilt rules if you want to disable the automatic mode and want to control the leds from home assistant or you want to change any of the default settings of this firmware you can check my next video numbered 35 in which we will talk about how to customize this sensor as per your need until now we have not configured the mqtt settings of this sensor and it has not yet exposed to home assistant as well but as you have seen it can still work independently now let's configure the mqtt settings and expose the sensor to home assistant Expose this sensor to Home Assistant by typing SO191. SO is short for Set Option. This is the loveless dashboard of our modified wind reckoning multi sensor. So, this was all about the modification of IKEA wind reckoning air quality sensor. Hope you liked the idea. I tried to make it as easy as possible so that all of you can do it yourself. If you feel any issues or have any query, do comment below and I will try to answer them at the earliest. You can also join VCC Ground Telegram channel to discuss the issues more deeply or for giving your valuable suggestions for the betterment of our past and future projects. I thank all of you for staying connected with this channel. If you are new, please consider subscribing this channel. If you like my work, appreciate it by hitting the like button. Stay connected and I'll be back with my next video soon. Until then, goodbye friends.